In this first tutorial, we will go over Blender's default interface, along with some of the basic shortcut keys. Learning how to move around the scene, as well as move, add, and delete objects. You can download Blender for free from blender.org. When you open Blender, the default scene always contains a cube, a light, and a camera. Notice that you can select each object by left clicking on it. The selected object turns orange, and the selection is also highlighted under the scene collection. The cube is a 3D object that Blender places in the scene by default. It marks the origin of the scene and the place where new objects will appear when added. The light is not active in this default scene, but it will act as a lighting source when the render modes are turned on. Lighting will come into play in future tutorials regarding materials and textures. The camera provides the perspective of the viewer when rendering an animation or still image within Blender directly. The Blender camera is generally not important when modeling for augmented reality or game development purposes, since we will be importing our model into an app like Shared Spaces or a game development program like Unity. These third-party programs contain their own cameras. A red line and a green line divide the scene. These lines mark the x-axis and the y-axis. Since we are working in 3D space, there is also a z-axis, which is invisible at the moment, but runs perpendicular to the others. If there is ever confusion, you can reference the gizmo here on the right. It identifies which colors align with each axis, and actually shows a blue line referencing the z-axis. These axes will become important when moving objects. Note that the box selection tool is active. This allows you to select an individual object while also allowing you to select multiple objects. Left click and drag the box over whatever you want to select. To deselect, click anywhere in the scene. Another note is that the viewport is in object mode. Object mode is best for moving, adding, and deleting objects. There are many other buttons and tabs along the side, and some of these we will discuss in later tutorials, but for today we will focus on the movement features. To move around the scene, you can use your mouse or the move tools located on the right side of the window. To orbit around the scene with your mouse, click on the middle mouse dial while dragging the mouse around the scene. Another option is to left click and drag the gizmo. With both methods, the gizmo moves in unison with the scene's rotation. It's similar to a compass in that it clarifies our location relative to the objects in our scene. To zoom in and out of the scene using the mouse, scroll the middle mouse dial forwards or backwards. You can also left click and drag the magnify icon under the move tools. To pan from side to side using the mouse, hold the shift key and click and drag the middle mouse dial. Alternately, under the move tools, you can left click and drag on the hand icon. To move objects around the scene, first click to select the object you want to move. Then use the move tools located on the left side of the window or the following keyboard shortcuts. 
to move an object along the axes, click the Move icon. Notice arrows and a white circle appear over the object. Each arrow is a different color that aligns with the X, Y, or Z axis. Click and drag one arrow to reposition the object. Here, we are moving along the Y axis. You can also move your object freely by clicking and dragging the small white circle. For the Move shortcut, tap the G key followed by X, Y, or Z. A new line appears indicating the axis you have selected. This blue line here indicates the Z axis. Move the object along the line with your cursor and left click to place it. If you want to move the object freely with the shortcut, simply tap the G key and move your cursor, then left click to place it. To rotate the object, click on the rotate icon. Note the appearance of the rotation rings. The colored rings align with one of the three axes. By clicking and dragging the blue ring, we are rotating our object on the Z axis. Click and drag on the white rings for free rotation across all three axes. This point of rotation is dependent on our perspective to the scene. For the rotation shortcut, tap the R key followed by X, Y, or Z, depending on the axis you want to rotate. In this example, we will rotate on the Y axis. Once the axis is selected, drag the cursor to rotate and left click to place. To rotate freely, tap the R key and drag your cursor, then left click to place. To change the size of the object, tap the scale icon. Scale along one axis by clicking and dragging on one of the handles. Here I'm dragging on the red handle, so I'm scaling on the X axis. For even scaling, click and drag on the small white circle. To scale in one direction using the shortcut, Tap the S key, followed by X, Y, or Z. Move your cursor and left click to secure the new size. For even scaling, tap the S key and drag the cursor, then left click to secure the size. Add an object using the Add tab. Click Add, click Mesh, and then select the shape you wish to import. For the shortcut, hold Shift and tap the A key. Select Mesh, and then select the shape. To delete an object, click to select it. Then tap the Object tab and click Delete. For the shortcut, select the object, then tap the X key, and select Delete. To delete multiple objects at once, you can hold down the Shift key while selecting all of the objects you want to delete. Or you can use the Box Selection tool. Here I'm using the Delete shortcut. If you would like to duplicate an object, select the object, click the Object tab, and select Duplicate Objects. Then move your cursor and left click to place. For the shortcut, select the object, hold Shift, and tap the D key. Then move your cursor and left click to place.
you can find the Undo or Redo actions under the Edit tab. For the Undo shortcut, hold Control and tap the Z key. To redo the action, tap Control, Shift, and Z. A quick way to start modeling in Blender is to simply begin stacking individual objects, using them as building blocks. In the next tutorial, we will go over Blender's edit mode and learn about its various functions.